All right, top of the morning. It's your boy, Big Rich Queen Sunday. What's today's date? Get my shit in order, because you know, I need to get my shit in order. August 25th, mob stories. Not really a mob story, sort of like maybe a mob profile. Not enough to be a spotlight, but what I got to... I got to get Vic Vega to uh, also make a mob profile banner, because sometimes we like to profile certain people. Now, we know that Stephen Crea Jr. just took a plea to 13 years for conspiracy, but would not accept the guilt of having a role in the killing of Michael Meldish. So this episode today is a little profile on Michael Meldish, about the Michael Meldish murder. And of course, this uh, this whole art, this whole uh, piece was put together by Shattered. All right, so uh, it's just not taking uh, one thing from one place. He actually took information from multiple places and put it together, and uh, you know, to to create this profile. So let's get down to business, as I like to say. Stop playing games, okay? Michael Meldish controlled a group of crazy thugs called the Purple Gang that were aligned with the Lucchese, Genovese, and Bonanno families. They took their name from the Prohibition Era, also known as the Purple Gang or the Sugar Gang, that operated in the Detroit area. A lot of former members have been absorbed into some of the five families. They controlled a lot of the drug trade in Harlem and the Bronx during the 1970s and 80s. Michael was also believed to carry out at least 10 hits during that time. Others talk about his involvement in many more murders. Michael Meldish was the brother of Joseph Meldish, an infamous hitman in the Bronx's Purple Gang. Meldish's younger brother, now 60, was convicted in 2007 for multiple counts of homicide and is suspected of carrying out more than 70 killings as a trigger man for the notorious Purple Gang. According to the NY Daily News, Michael Meldish was in on the act too. Former NYPD commanding officer Joseph Coffey of the Organized Crime Homicide Task Force told the paper he was happy the older Meldish was finally dead. Coffey led a task force that had tried to pin charges on Michael Meldish in the 80s when he was suspected of being the leader of the Purple Gang. Meldish was suspected of running a protection racket in the Edenwald area of the North Bronx, Coffey's statements told the news. Coffee's comments spurred rumors that Meldish's death was itself a hit, but police couldn't confirm the exact circumstances of the death. Police said Michael Meldish had been arrested five times in the 1970s on various charges, including assault and possession of a weapon, and he had other convictions throughout the 80s and 90s. He's a busy boy. Joseph Meldish was sentenced to, in 2011 to 25 years in life in prison, for a murder that took place in 1999. Meldish should have heeded warnings from his old Purple Gang pals. Michael Meldish, the slain former leader of the Purple Gang, Michael Meldish, the slain former leader of the Purple Gang, survived many gunfights and legal battles during his heyday. There are a few rumors going around why Michael Meldish was killed. A year before he was shot to death in the Bronx in 2013, Meldish, a longtime Lucchese Crimely family associate, was the victim of a very public and dramatic beating. According to reports, sometimes in 2011, Ernest Aiello was allegedly ordered by Michael Mancuso to assault Lucchese crime family associate Michael Meldish. Meldish had apparently been dating a girlfriend of Mancuso, which had angered Mancuso. Meldish was assaulted by Aiello, along with reputed Bonanno soldier John Joseph Spirito Jr., The assault was said to have taken place outside the popular Rayo's restaurant in East Harlem. The beating, sources say, came after a headstrong Meldish refused to heed warnings to stop seeing the girlfriend of Michael Mikey Nose Mancuso, a former Purple Gang member who had graduated to the top in the Bonanno crime family. Michael Meldish was murdered after getting out of prison and returning to his old ways. He was found shot to death in his car in November 2013, in the Throg's Neck section of the Bronx. He was in the passenger seat after being executed by a passenger. The list of people who wanted him dead is long because he pissed off many powerful people over the years. Michael Meldish was set to run errands for Maddie Madonna, but they had a falling out. 
I hear Michael Melish didn't care what anyone said and he wanted to do his own thing. It is all about cocaine and who controls Westchester and Bronx cocaine territory. It is said that it's being run mostly by West Side Genovese guys at this point. What I have heard is that the Lucchese family got the Genovese families okay to take Michael Meldish out. The only problem is the guy who is charged, Christopher Londonio, killed him only a block away from where some Genovese guys like Ralph Balsamo, Patty Falsetti, and others hang their hats. The Genovese might have given their blessing, but no way did they want it done around them. All right, so first of all, salute to Shattered for putting this bit of information together. A small profile, see, not a spotlight, but a small profile on Michael Meldish, being that the case is going to start in uh, uh, federal court in White Plains uh, in uh, March of next year. And some people are talking about it's going to be one of the biggest mafia trials uh, that will be taking place in quite a while. All right, so salute. To shatter, job well done, sir. And again, this is a quick profile on Michael Meldish. Let me quit. Uh, let me put a quick picture up for you guys, just because uh, I didn't get a chance to put it up really quick. Here we go. Here we go. And I think the next time we uh, speak about Michael Meldish, we'll uh, introduce you guys to the Purple Gang, and we'll talk about the Purple Gang, right? There he is, allegedly the former leader of the Purple Gang, Michael Meldish, and he was murdered. And now there's a case in federal court to find out who actually murdered Michael Meldish, all right? And, of course, when that case happens, we're going to be following it every day. Salute again to uh, Shattered. Job well done, sir. And we will see you guys soon.